This to the boss man. You are the blokes out there. You are the blokes have to do it. We're only covering the basic points to help core and give us a, a, a slightly better game for you. Okay, guys. This guy. Chessie United match, I really thought we were really going to go to town on the best yeah. You're not the only one there, Jimmy. <laughs> the no, no, you're not the only one thought we were going to go well after United. I think if we'd have scored early against that loan, you know, and we could be in a better position than we are today. But, I mean, that's water under the bridge. We're staying overnight in this trip, but um, uh, I'm not terribly enamoured about overnight. My experience with overnight, you have to watch them. Jesus, you'd be 2 o'clock in the morning, you're up on some front. I remember Dick Heads one year. And Dick Heads was going down one corridor, and I was up the other. And uh, we thought we were stalking, you know, we were stalking players, we were stalking each other, you know. I never laughed so much in all my bloody life. But even a part of the act of the maggot end of it, uh, I think that worries me about it is that most people don't rest on their initial night away from well, home. Well, well, there's always the danger that somebody comes along and says, there's a nine to three, or something like that. <laughs> yeah, then I don't sleep at all, you know. Uh, the, the, the thing is that, that every once you're a, a player, you're in the public eye, and uh, the kind of thing is that the player, you know, I get off my market, and the girl wants to be seen with so and so. You know, possibly if a football team wasn't involved, they, they wouldn't look at each other, you know. If you have two players who are not up to their normal standard because of having a restless night or, you know, out chasing. You must face facts that a player that gets his full rest. They can really sleep now, let's face yeah. it, they can really sleep as you should. Like, for instance, I recommend that they read, because I read somewhere or other that doctors say that if you read until the object falls out of your hand, then you're completely relaxed. What about good time, Charlie? What about the disco tonight, boss? Nobody, nobody moves out tonight. No, I'm going to have a chance to get out tonight. I remember that. Oh, take the 1939 Cup final. I remember the case of 13, 13, <laughs> and two hours of the paper, and it was insanely amount at that final. You don't get 20,000 at a Cup final now today. <laughs> How do you get the paper back? Well, I know, this, is, this, is, this is falling off. Yeah, I, yeah. I can remember vividly um, my early connections with Shelburne. And we travelled on a Thursday to Dundalk. Uh, Thursday is the half Thursday day. Thursday is the half day in Dundalk. And at the time, we had no. seven special trains. I think the return fare was more than six. The Shelburne players were mostly cross-channel players at the time. And they all had their individual little bags. For all the world, like doctor's bags with the little... Brown leather things. bags, I remember them. Brown. And three or four, or more, the most of the team, had black hard hats. They called them the hard, black, the, the hard hat brigade. And I remember as vividly as if it was yesterday, they yeah. walking down uh, Dundalk, the main street, and one would, if they didn't know they were going to a football match, would say, well, here's the a board of directors, commercial travellers, yeah. setting off on a business, a business trip. Yeah. Over the years, I um, honestly believe that if you get down to a Christian name level with people, that they tend to uh, have a different attitude in their mind about you as a person. Now, there's a foolish belief that if they refer to you as Mr. Ron or Mr. Dial or Mr. whatever, that therefore they have respect for you. 
They obviously don't refer to me as Mr. Rowan when they talk about me having a jar. The description varies depending on the nature of the conversation. Perhaps it's the, the old hard-hatted genital foreman of the, of the 1920s that this has come through. But at the same time, there's a certain amount of respect to it. OK, so Paddy and you can sort... Yeah, Paddy and you can sort that out. Now, again, I'll, I'll repeat again, I want it broken from our defence fast up there. I don't want it coming down to the pace that Ben likes. There's one thing Ben doesn't like, it's being harassed the living day, and he likes time and space to use it. Deny him this, this is important. Right, oh, we should be good enough to, 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 to win this one. Let's have it. Yeah, we, we need two points. Yeah. 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 As often as that happens, they usually sneak one or two in on us. The important thing is not to give him room. You know this. If he gets room, he can be dangerous. We don't want him to have any room, OK? Now, remember this, no arguing with the referee. I won't in any way condone it. And if you're kicked, you'll have to accept it. No retaliation. That's it. You're working hard today, Peter. <laughs> Sweating there. Prince, you don't want to get these laces in earlier in the future. Look, again, Paddy Lee has laces. On a Wednesday, coming back to this Wednesday thing order we've been discussing. <laughs> Take home a pair of laces and, and put them in your boots if you've been wearing the same laces for a couple of games. Well, we don't train them. Right. I know, but you've only discovered that they break when you try to tie them up at the bloody on the match day. And then they break. Then you have to ask somebody to fill them the bloody laces. Yeah. We should be doing this. We should be doing this before we put our chalk into our kit. Well, let, let's, let's right. try and remember that. I'll take two to one against Shelburne scoring the first. You'll take two to that's one? A good, yeah. That's a good bet. No, you're not. Then if I know, we should be getting enough money to support oh, that. No, 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 that's, no, no, no. that's a good bet, Tom, isn't it? Oh, get, oh, that's oh, a good bet. Two yeah, to one yeah. against us scoring the first. It all depends on who's leading the bet. If a club takes in a thousand quid on the gate this week, how how could you get it across to players unless you unless you produce a balance sheet every bloody week? How can you get it across that this thousand quid gate is only a drop in the ocean? I believe I've said this so many times before, and so many people just don't accept it. I'm talking about people in football that the average home gate net a club requires to aim for a lion ball situation at the end of the season is 800 quid, 800 quid net on your home gates. Now, there's not the slightest snowball chance in hell of any club in the country, whether they're top of the league for the whole season, whether they win the FAI Cup, whether they damn what they win in the present circumstances. There's not the slightest hope of any club hoping to reach that figure of 800 quid average net on their home matches. So every club is legislating for a loss. Come on, come forward, come on, Eddie. Come on, Eddie. Push come it on. forward now. Come on, Eddie. Come on, Good ball, hit it, Paul. Hey, look, Paul. Albert, who are you taking? Well Come on, Eddie. Come on, Eddie. Come on, Eddie. Come on, Eddie. What are you taking that oh, length of time for? I won. Give an old dog. Come on, Eddie. Players is a piece of property. This is a terrible way to describe a situation. We have always looked on players, first of all, as people. People with special abilities, people with a certain God-given ability to play football better than the next fellow. We have tried to encourage them to develop whatever ability they have from a very young age. There's a social relationship, I believe, between the club and the players. Come on, pick them up! I believe Jerry Dial thinks this way about people. Jerry is a family man in, a, in the strongest possible way, and he, he does not think of players as um, non-people, if you like. Come on, Albert, it's your ball! That's it. Don't rush in, Abby. Don't rush in. Come on, Joe. Come on, Willie, boy. Come on, Willie. Come on, Willie. Come on, Willie. Come on, Willie. Come on, Willie.
I don't know, Tom. I, I just don't know. Today, I was never so disappointed. I was absolutely sure at half time. We were so much in control that this is one match that we could, could take home to me. I thought we were rubbish. We never put two passes together in the second half. No, you know, the best kick the ball out was back in fair yeah, Ah, let's forget it. Let's forget it anyway. <laughs> what about a second goal? Well, Paddy, you know what I thought? The first half, he's got a goal lead. And why just go back on the fence for the second half? We is not fit or something? The team is just not fit. Yeah. It's as simple as that. Yeah, well, a big kick against Pats, where you're in a heavier ground, and they were coming at us, and we were going at them up to 90 minutes. Yeah, but that's just by the sound that Pats are not fit either. And if we hadn't got the two points today, we would have been more. But we're still crap. Yeah. We played crap in six of the of the ten matches we played. I think we played crap though. Well, we first half. We, 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 we contained them very it's well. It's okay to play in the first half, but the, the, the match consists of two halves. They seem to be a complete collapse from being sharper than the car team in the first half to be gone out of it. And I can only think of the overnight stay Tom. Any time. His argument is that you don't get enough sleep on Saturday. And my argument is, I mean, if you're a family man, you could have problems with your children, and you have to be up anyway. I mean, but it, once you're fit, I mean, what's 90 minutes? It's really nothing, you know, if you're fit. But if, if you're you not came fit, off the park today and you told me you were jacked for one hour. Exactly, but that's because I wasn't fit. I mean, you're all smiling about it now. Last, but last night you all want to get out, wasn't that it? We were, all, we were all in bed before 11 o'clock. You must agree. Oh, I begin to think they were in the dance hall. We went into the dance hall the, the, and hoping in this way that we might find the three of them. The one that we'd been searching for plus the... You know, Jerry, apart from today's results, apart from any results, what's going to happen to the game at all? From the supporter point of view, generally speaking, we, we've had no support for our matches. We've lost cash every, every week to see them so far. But well, what can you expect when you... Money club? They come out every, every week to see a performance like this. Second half, nothing there. Limerick, big watch out. I can't expect supporters. Oh, we still have a couple of shell supporters all the same. The point is this, that, uh, as far as football here, in my opinion, you'll see matches here as good as you'll see anywhere. You must go every week to see them. You'll see one good match in three. It was that bad today? But even if it, even it is bad what? sometimes. What was the game? Right? Class, it's a stop for a minute. It's a Celtic. What was Limerick though? The first half. Limerick was a bad game. We won it. There's no, it's, there's no excuse there. We're not against United in front of 25,000. We played very well. And we, and we, we beat them at their own game. We did very, very well against them. We're not against Fekin at Lowen the next day and there was about 25 on the bloody ground. I think a player manager is essential nowadays because he's involved with the players and he knows the, the feelings of the players, you know? I mean, he can, training wise, their manager is too old. You know, he, he, you're fooling him. You know, if you were a bit tired, say, Monday, well, you say, well, I'm not going to put her in. That's it. But if you have a player manager who's been out on the field and he knows how much he can take, see, this is the whole thing in, in soccer pressurized training. Come on, mate. Come on, mate. Come on, let's go. Come on, Paul. You're like a brass today. Both of you. The next item I want to discuss is the meeting that I had, very brief, far too brief meeting that I had with the chairman of Cork Celtic and the honorary treasurer of Cork Celtic last Sunday on the occasion of a match down there. And they, like most of the other provincial people that, I sp that I've spoken to in the recent past, are very concerned about the falling attendances at matches, the fact that they're legislating for a loss at the end of the season. They just can't meet their running expenses by their gate receipts and don't hope to meet their running expenses by gate receipts. Right here, Woody. It was suggested that we have a meeting of all the club representatives, the club chairman, with at least one other official of a club. In other words, two people from each of the 14 clubs, or 13 clubs, professional clubs I'm speaking about, in the League of Ireland. Mick, you know everything. You know more than the far end. From the south, namely Cork Hibernians, <coughs> and up last season Cork Celtic, and yet Waterford, and they were actually they were actually telling you that. The, what they were doing at that time, namely bringing in uh, these players which ran up their wage bill, 
was the answer and that the Dublin club should do likewise. I'm satisfied that we have to run football in relation to what comes in on the, uh, at the gate. Stop! Stop! Come on, you don't bloody well just touch the bloody ball. Must go, must really go. Anyone would cut it out with a ball like that, that's it. Snap, come on, Jimmy. Not casual, that's it. Don't give the chance to intercept it. You know, I don't think it'll do any good for the game if the press were to start writing them up, as you say, or even overwriting them up. If the game improves sufficiently, the crowds will come because the word, it'll go round by word of mouth, such and such a body has a great team. So-and-so has a wonderful centre forward. It was a great match last week. Like, this is their I'm, going, I'm going, going to say know. something at this stage, Mr Chairman. You may agree with it and you may not. I feel that there is a X amount of people for entertainment in the city. And if we want to get the people, we will have to come out in open competition to the best picture that's on in town, the best ice hockey, the best match of the day. And this, I think, we're in open competition too. Three down, three down. Three down. Three down. Push it now, push it now. I'll be pleased to know that we've arranged a meeting with the Office of the Supporters Club for next Wednesday. If they moan and crib and growl about how the team are playing, it's only because they're concerned, because they're Shelbourne people. They, they obviously want the same thing that we want. They want success in every match. They want the team up at the top of the league. Uh, we, we have always felt that too much interference could be a bad thing. As long as, as they don't say something like, um, well, I think the, 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 the team ought to be improved, unless they can put forward some suggestion. I mean, it's not enough to say... Uh, team should be improved. Uh, for the sake of saying it, I, 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 I'm, I'm against the attitude of uh, as being applied, uh, say, to the country when there's a meeting down the country and, and the fellow arrives late and he just wants to know it. the speaker, is he against the government? You know, I mean, as long as he's against the government, he's for him, yeah. you see, and he's not putting anything, anything proper forward yeah. at all. It doesn't matter the damn who's up there. I've no doubt that when they sit around at their own meetings, if they discuss the team, performance at the weekend, um, they probably shoot her down, shoot down every player, shoot down you as a manager. Yeah, I think no, this is a meeting will we'll, we'll find its own level as it progresses, no. Mr Chairman. No, I welcome this, Mr Chairman. I welcome this in as much that, as I said, if they're all here or whatever the number of them is here, and they put forward uh, what they consider to be a, a, a grievance, well, and I can right. argue, I can argue and try and clear the air on this. Yeah, yeah. I think this is a better exercise. As yeah. I said, I, I'm prepared to do this. In other words, the, the, Mr. Corden there, the director, asked, uh, what had I to offer because the players uh, fell back? Yeah. And I don't, I don't mind this. If he will accept... Well, he's, he's a member of the board. No, here. but what I'm, yeah. what I'm saying is, if, you can, if, if he will accept... Now, on the other hand, if you remember, now I'm not trying to be, be awkward here. Yeah. If you remember, at another meeting, he, he mentioned why was Paul Mack and so-and-so, which yeah. got yeah. under me yeah. wicked, you yeah. call it, yeah. you see, because yeah. it was the other way about. The centre-half was chasing Paul everywhere. It wasn't Paul chasing him yeah. at all. Blue. Yeah, that's rough. hope nobody else gets it. While primarily we are interested in the development of a player, as a Shelbourne player, ultimately, we're not in it just to, if you like, keep the kids off the street. There's no question that insofar as the development of a buy is concerned, we believe that the competitive side of soccer, the fitness side of soccer, the fact that kids learn to accept criticism from the people in the club, apart from the fact that any form of field activity is good for a kid. I don't want to tell you, Rings End and Norwich Town, once you cross the bridge, Rings in the Dorstown. Blood pan. Really? Blood pan. Don't talk about Shelton Rovers. This side of the bridge, Shelbourne. Shelton Rovers. There was good 30,000 in it. Eddie Gannon. He was playing on that team. Paddy Cody was put off that day. Dermot Curtis. Great player. Well, the crowd was slagging him. He was on the wing. But he got so much slagging from the wing that he really had to shove him in somewhere, so he shoved him into the middle. But he finished in the middle afterwards against Billy Wright in Daly Mount Park, and he gave Billy Wright a right roasting. This is our home ground. 
It was our stadium. You could see it grown. It was fantastic. It was unbelievable. The crowd were gone at this time. They were really gone to soccer at this time. It's a religion. It really is a religion. I remember me and this lad, Jimmy. We were playing Sligo in Talca. But we were getting beaten 6 0, unfortunately. So only about 10 minutes to go. Jimmy on. Come on, shells, drag it out with a fire. Of course, Mr. Rowan often says, Who are you married to? He says, Mrs. Rusher, Shelbourne. Well, I told him out straight, I said, So I know Shelbourne better than I know the missus. I know her a little longer. <laughs> The only chance Shelburne will get to Europe is in Joe Walsh's tours. Now, yeah, ah, now, yeah, now right. I'm going to tell you this much. Wait, now, hold you on. Can be a listener, be a all listener. Right, what, all right, what yes, happened on the, What happened on the Wednesday? What happened on the Wednesday? Mary Jane well, must have got a shower, didn't hold she? Hold it. Who we was were, the first we team ever to was the first team ever? Let me show you. It's almost as good as the point of the house. There's no room to get a lot of questions. We're talking. Point it, Robert. You away with our youth team. Boy. Boy. Boy, because the players was getting taken it's away, didn't you? In 1924 to 5, Shamrock Rovers was in town, Castle Street. And where are they now? Down and down Where are they now? He wouldn't know that. Wait till I tell you. Wait till I tell you. Wait till I tell you. We were playing in beach. Don't push me. What? We were playing in beach. Hey, hold on. Give me a little. Give me a little. Hold on. 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 I want to ask you a question. The honours that the green and white, the, the hoops, Rovers have won, emulate anything that's a that war. I know it is. I got a broken arm with Shelby. I was only about six or seven weeks old. It's a pity you didn't get a broken neck with it. Well, there you are. Now, what am I going to explain? No, 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 no. There it is. Why are you pushing me? Excuse me for a minute. Just a second there, Jimmy, Jimmy, I don't go down with a trilby hat in my head. No. And I don't go out on the sideline. Hey, Paddy Dudley, will you put the phone up there? That's no. not me. Uh, yeah. No, Shane. No. No. Jimmy. Just, please! please. 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 Can I ask you how could you follow, how could you be talking here about Shelburne and Rovers? For well, the only football that you ever played, according to the papers a couple of years ago, was up the Amazon. And here you are here talking about football in Ireland. You know nothing about it. Wait a minute. You're learning. We've had the sore situation of developing a player, a young boy from 11 years of age up to 15, seeing this kid progress, criticising his play, developing the player physically, mentally, socially, improving the skills that he obviously had when he was uh, come down to us for a trial. And then when he comes to 15, he's whipped away from under our nose to a cross challenge slot. Declan, hurry up and eat your flags, will you? Oh, I definitely wouldn't stand in his way. It would be no surprise to me. Oh, that's not. Have a good game, up, you know. Oh. You know, time comes from... We are a football family, and seen him for the last four or five seasons, I think he has it in him. Yeah, I would like Tom, certainly, to go off to England, because... Um, I think he has a great future ahead of him. Oh, now, it's difficult to criticise the parents or the player in this, in this particular regard because I suppose every fellow's ambition is to get across channel to, uh, to the highest football he can get to. But from our point of view, it's a bit heartbreaking to have spent a few years with an individual player and then to have him whipped away without even the courtesy of a contact from the cross channel club. Uh, we get too much English coverage for our game, anyhow. But, like, let, let me say this, too. Like, yes, the good stuff that you see on it, you won't see that quality, even with us, maybe at our best. 
because you simply haven't got the players to match uh, those players, you see, and, and that's it. And we do need the premises, we do need the ground, we, we, we need a social centre apart from a playing centre. We need a root, we need a home, we need somewhere to say, that's ours, this is where we spring from. Anyone without a home, of any sort, is an itinerant type. <coughs> In soccer, there isn't so much of a, a loyalty to a team. I don't think so anyway. We have so many transfers, there's so many people leaving one club to go to another. Rather than in, in rugby, um, you, you join a, a club and you're mixed up with the social life of the club. You know more people in the club, you're closer to them. Yes, come on, keep up playing like that. You must come. They don't come at home. 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 They don't come Possibly in the modern day and age, supporters feel that they must have a closer relationship with the club than they have ever had before. In other words, they're not just the crowd of fellas paying into the match to cheer on uh, a team, but they want to be involved. They want to rub shoulders with the players and with the officials. They want to be involved more in the, in the actual club running. There's nothing wrong with closer social relationships as long as the extent can be controlled. Anyone got it to screw driver ready to call it? We're getting a chance to win this fucking match. It's a question of some style of fighting. You're, 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 you're running about it. It's breaking down at the last thing, this is it. But at the same time, it's not going to break down at the last thing. <laughs> So don't let's have any growling among ourselves. This is important. You are playing reasonably well. In my book, you should be in front. Right? Now, let's, let's not try too many things at the back. And yet, when it's times we have clear chances of using the ball at the back, I want them to use. I mean, you don't say that Tony moved up that time. He tried to push it to the person, player in the outside right position when he moved in the middle. It just didn't come off. All I'm saying, boss, is our last pass. We're breaking True. every move we tried has broken True. down with right. the last pass. Okay. That's all then I'm the saying. The player has to make, try and make sure of it. That's it. Yeah. We're taking the game as a whole. We shall be in front. And they're playing fair stuff too. So let's go. Let's go on it. Let's keep up this. Yes, we're using it well. The thing is, don't create any doubt in your own mind. This is the important thing. Don't believe in yourself. Let's go. Come on, Shells, let's go! Get a Vinny. Hit it! In the middle, in the middle. No, you're running with it again. Albert, part that ball! <laughs> Come on, Shells! Come on, Shelburne, let's go! Depress me, did We made more chances than they did, and we didn't put them in the net. You see their first goal? Just a hard, low ball, a dangerous ball. Anybody could hit that. A defender could hit it and put it into the net. As it happened, he glanced off his own player and went in. If you create more chances, you are having the better of the argument. The difference is you don't put them in the net. The other fellow with less chance. Don't tell me they're a better team. They are not a better team. Let, let me use an analogy. I went out to Hungary. To play a team in a higher competition. Yeah. I denied them chances of scoring. And we had a great chance of pulling it off or nothing. Are yeah. you going to tell me if we had done so, that you would all have told me we were a better team than Vazas? Would you? They are a better yes. team, you said. Yes. Right. Yes. Then is Walsall a better team than Arsenal that beat them 2 nothing in the cup? That's true. No, 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 wait. Ah, oh, Jesus. I'm not talking about the day. I'm talking about teams. <laughs>